everyone. My name is Roz, and I'm the co-founder of Ignite Publishing Services, along with my husband, Dave. We help authors get their book into the hands of their readers. Today's Ignite Publishing tip, it's all about how to eat an elephant. All right. You might have heard the saying, how do you eat it? You know, the question asks, how do you eat an elephant? And one bite at a time. So that's what I wanted to share with you. How can you break down your book into, into bite-sized pieces in order to get it completed, published, and into the hands of your readers. I'm going to share with you a, a, a little tip that is so effective that it may blow your mind, all right? But it, it's not just writing down, you know, a to-do list, but it's actually having those things right in front of you each and every day, letting, reminding you about what you said you want to accomplish. And this can be for anything, a book, you know, major projects that you want to get accomplished, anything. This is so effective. I actually have here, and I hope you can see this, this is a little, um, actually it's a, just a little poster board that I have. And I have sticky notes on here, different color sticky notes, but what this is, what I designed here is actually a project that I'm working on. And I actually, whatever, whenever I come up with an idea about that's pertaining to the project, I actually get a different color sticky note and I actually write it down and I stick it onto the board. It may come to pass, it may not, but at least I have it somewhere that I can see it. And if it's going to be something that I want to add onto my project, um, I actually go ahead and move forward with um, completing it. So this is a very effective, powerful tool that you can use. And it's so simple. But yet and still, you can have this thing right in front of you each and every day. You put it on the wall, wherever. And this can go for your book. And I have to show you. These are the projects that my husband and I have completed within basically a year because we were so, probably like a year and a half, I would say, because we were so determined. And that poster board was one of the tools that we used in order to accomplish it. So the first object, the project that we completed was my husband's book, Get Fired Up, because if you don't, who will? We completed his Get Fired Up uh, motivational CD. We completed our uh, marriage book that we have collaborated on together. This is the actual um, CD version of it. So it's an audio book. We have the actual paperback book. We have another book, Stop the Insanity. So this is basically um, a book about how to actually restore your credit or even get out of debt. So that's what this book is about. And that's what we actually came up with together based on our experience, what we have found that to be successful in helping us get out of debt. So that book, I actually love fitness and, um, you know, I've been doing it for, well, yeah, since I was young, but I really enjoy it. I really encourage, um, love encouraging people to, you know, just step up and get into uh, whatever type of fitness they want to do. So that's another project, my um, Fit, Fierce and Fabulous 30 minute CD, well actually it's a DVD that I completed as well. So all of these projects within a year and a half. So these are all the projects that we've completed. And it all started because we decided to actually use our poster board idea. So as you go and think about the different projects, or even because we're talking specifically about publishing, your book, what you do is actually get a sticky note and write down, even if you don't know the title of your book, write down my book, all right? If you know the title, that's fine, you write it down. But these are not concrete, but these are a starting point in order to get you from, from out of your head to something that's you can actually see, all right, and then you start 
um, checking these off. I have a, actually a, um, a red uh, pen that I use and I start checking things off as I start completing those different tasks. So with your book, you know, you kind of brainstorm what do you want to actually add to your book? What are the experiences that you want to include? The different stories you want to include in your book? Any type of resources you want to include? You actually write those things individually on separate uh, sticky notes, different colors. So, I mean, you know, the color gives it a little bit more feel. It's not dull. It's, it's um, some vibrancy to it. And um, as you start writing things down, you know, you can start with breaking down a chapter of your book or a section of your book based on the sticky note that you have actually added to your poster board. So that's an awesome idea, very effective, very simple, but how do you eat your elephant? And this is a simple way to do that. Just bite-sized pieces. That's how you eat an elephant. And this is what has worked for us with the many products that we've completed in about a year and a half. So guys, I hope this helped you in, you know, moving forward with completing your book. Make sure you reach out to us, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on our blog. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us. We're here to help you. We're here to service you. So until next time, God bless and um, continue to write because someone needs to hear what you have to say. Bye-bye.